All right, guys, Rukage here, and welcome back to the brand new video. Here we are, so leveling arise will be the topic. On today's video, I want to cover in-game balance adjustments, okay? We're going to go straight to the point because there is a lot of things we need to cover. But at the end of the day, if you notice your account went so is so much stronger after the update you're gonna see why because they buffed so many things like overall our accounts shadows and so much more plus two characters got insane buff look at this now limb buff before and after so after magic boost damage deals equal to 120 percent before it was 60 of the user's attack per arrow increase the damage of core attack typhoon fire and quick attack typhoon fire by 30 percent so we have 50 percent increase as well right here we have advancement tree when magic boost is active it increases the effect of the user's core attack typhoon fire and quick attack typhoon fire by 50 percent then we have advancement five every time core attack hits it increases attack by four but now it can by four percent but now it can stack ten times guys intercept uh, limbs weapon so when they when they use a basic attack within 10 seconds after using quick attack typhoon fire it increases their attack by eight percent for 30 seconds and it can stack up to three four five six eight times depending on advancement uh, pretty nice buff for Lim, for sure. But this is the star, Silver Mane Bach. So the passive increase the damage of the Magic Beast claws and slaughter by 60% when dealing damage to the targets with bleed of or curse of the Magic Beast effects applied. So we have another buff, and look at this buff right here. Curse of Magic Beast deals damage equal to 200% of the Silver Mane Bach. Uh, max HP every three seconds. So that's a huge by 150% we have bigger. Then on advancement two, we have HP increased by 16 before it was 10. Advancement three, when the battle starts, the user gains shield equal to 60%. Advancement four, the user basic attack damage increased by 80, not 40. Uh, changes the user skill damage increase equal to 120% of the loss ratio before it was 80. And then we have weapon. So increase the user's basic attack damage by 22.5, 32.5, 42.5, 52.5, 65% and 80% depending on your advancement. The buff overall is absolutely insane. When the user basic attack hits, they take damage equal to 0.1 of the current HP before it was 0.5. And then again, depending on the advancement, everything else. So guys, uh, limb... And Silvermane Bach especially got insane additional buff. And I believe Bach it will be now extremely valuable dark unit, which I'm gonna take. A rune skill adjustments. Look at this. Why your runes are again stronger. So double down, you see the damage increase. And as well, when your attack hits an enemy that doesn't have break gauge, it increases the damage of double down by 90, 160, 240 for 7 seconds. Sonic Explosion. We have a nice buffs right here, bro. The last one is like almost 1000% again. When the final hit lands, it decreases Song Shifu core attack by 90, 160, 240%. Wind Shroud, again, a nice buff in the damage. And as well, last blade damage has been buffed additionally. Flow of the Wind increased attack by 1.5, 2, and 3% up to 10 times. Super busted. This, uh,. <laughs> These runes will go up absolutely insane. Now look at this, Army of Shadows Combat Power Balance Adjustments. This is the stat increase compared to the original level. So level 1 is stat increase rate 23. We have 5, now it's 41, and so on to 55%, where it will be 10% higher than before. Okay? So that is stat increase rate. So before on uh, Shadow Level 1, now it's 23% bigger. On level 5, 41% bigger, then 10, 56, then 63, then 63, then 59, 57, 47, 37, 27, 19, 10, and 60 or higher will go up by 1% uh, more. So definitely insane buff right there. Uh, R and SR rank weapon based on the level and armory combat balance adjustments. <laughs> Stat increase rate compared to the original level. So level 1 weapon will give 200%. SR67. Then level 5 is 
bigger by 138, SR by 53, and so on and so on and so on and so on. To level 100, it will get increased by 14% overall. The level 100 S rank weapon and SR weapon stats remain the same as before. Okay, I see. Okay. Uh, combat power transfer increase rate for each rank based on the armor enhancement. So, increase in bonus combat power. Before it was 250, now it's 500. For the S rank weapons, before it was 500, now it's 1000. Okay? So, for the 0, it's, which is 30 now. For 1, it's 46, 49. For 2, it's 61%, 68. So, our guys, like our overall buffs related to the R and SR weapons, about the runes, about the characters, and about the shadows. Okay? Increased tier 1, 2, 3 gem option stat. As well, guys, here, increased rate based on the gem tier option. So before it was for attack 0.5, now it's 125. For tier 2, it's 175 now. For tier 3, it's 225. And so on and so on and so on. So that is overall why pretty much now, if you did test out things, your account is stronger overall. Just like basically just opening the game after the update, your account, your gems will mean more, your uh, armor enhancement levels will mean more, your stat increase of the R and SR weapons, of the army, runes, characters. Um, yeah, they've done a good job right here. Hunter and SR or higher weapon advancement tier 0 to 4 combat power balance adjustments. So look at this. Increase rate based on the hunter advancement. So advancement tier 0, before it was 0, now it's 5% more. On the SSR rank, it's 15% more. Tier 1, it's 7.7, 20% more. Advancement tier 2, 24% more on SSR rank. Tier 3, 27, tier 4, 29, and then advancement tier, we have 30%. Combat power increase rate based on the SR and SSR Hunter, Sangji Wu weapon. Again, it's again connected with Sangji Wu weapon. All of this will give you a buff overall and the weapons will be stronger. Story normal main site. Okay, so this guy's normal story has been nerfed tremendously. As you can see, if I look at the 20 part, the Monarch of White Flames, before it was 652k, now it's 300k, guys. Okay, so normal and side story, you're chilling, bro. You're chilling. You're gonna destroy it. Good luck to everyone. The story has been nerfed tremendously. Battlefield of Chaos tier 1 to 12 difficulty. So everything has been lowered. And even, yeah, on the 12th, look at this. Before on the 12th, uh, 7, 700, 308k. Now it's 422.5, 422k, bro. That's insane. Instant dungeons, okay, as well, they has been nerfed. Only proof of the strong stayed the same. Everything else is nerfed. Okay, so good luck. Proof of the strong, oh, wait. That as well has been adjusted. Yeah, on proof of the strong level 20, there was no adjustments, but everything else has been nerfed as well. Especially that level 1, yeah, level 7 as well. So, guys, make sure you can do this now. You can do this. It's a pretty crazy nerf. So, overall, guys, this in-game ba uh, balance our top tier for us uh, and uh, definitely your account is now much stronger bro like overall everything what i said here what a nice job from the developers while we add it i will add this so the popkin festival celebration check-in event it lasts from today until seven days and every single day we're getting the prizes look at this uh, instant dungeon keys times 3, then we have traces of shadow times 50, then in core mission keys times 3, weapon enhancement gear 3 times 10, battlefield of chaos 3, uh, key right, artifact enhancement chip 1 times 50, candy bar selection chest, weapon enhancement gear 3 times 10, instant dungeon keys times 3, lucky blessing stone chest volume 3 times 1, and core mission keys times 3, lucky skill rune chest volume 3 times 1, and then boss challenge key times 4 and traces of shadow. So just a little but significant I would say, login bonus that you should get every single day, and yeah, 100 free shadow traces, why not? Let's take it, Beru is incoming. Okay guys, with this we're gonna end the video, tell me your opinions, I absolutely, I absolutely love this in-game adjustments, and it is top tier. Bye guys, love ya!